so guys welcome to my phone screen now in this particular video i'm going to show you how to copy trade successfully from your favorite mentors telegram group or any group at all to your metatrader 5 application which is this particular platform you all know that we have two types of copy trading the automated copy trading and the manual copy trading so what i'm going to be teaching you guys today is the manual copy trading now the automated copy trading is when you connect your account with with your favorite traders account or with your mentors account whenever your mentor places a trade or the trader places trade on his account you are also going to be making money that is called automated copy trading but in this particular video i want to show you manual way in which you can also copy your trade successfully to metatrader 5 application now guys this is the trade that i'm going to be using this particular place i say buy usd jpy at 147.723 now stop loss 147.487 and tp which is take profit take profit is 148.928 now sl stands for stop loss and tp stands for take profit okay now guys if a trader or your favorite mentor sent a signal let's say the person did not state the numbers here so this is how to know now if you check this particular chart now as you can see this green bar is where the price is going to go to right is where i'm anticipating the price to go to so as you can see in this particular area as you can see here 148.928 that is take profit that is where the price is going as you can see this tp 148.928 now as you can see this red bar that is down 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 here is the stop loss that means once price gets to that particular point your trade will just close now as you can see on this red bar that the stop loss is 147.487 okay that is the stop loss and as you can see sl here is 147.487 okay that's how to know your stop loss right that's how to know your stop loss if the trader did not share it like this you can still take the coordinates from just this chart and this long too right now guys pay attention to to this now now this is where the price is at as you can see this ash color here this is 147.723 that is where the price is at okay now as you can see i say buy usd jpy now what you are going to do you are going to head over to your metatrader 5 application as you can see guys this is my metatrader 5 application right because this area is called put if the particular pair of particular forex pair you want to trade is not in this put all you have to do to add it is just come here and click on this plus icon now once you click on the plus icon you just type the pair that you want to add let's say i want to add euro usd euro usd so you just come over here then type the pair that you want to trade that is not on your quotes on your quotes interface then click on the plus icon then go back then once you go back all you need to do is to just go down you can see go down to the last pair to the last instrument i are going to see the pair in which you are trading now guys as you can see in this particular interface we have usd jpy so this is what you are going to do you're just going to tap on the usd jpy then you're going to click on new order then once you come to your new order as you can see this particular place there's sl and this particular place there's tp sl means stop loss and tp means take profit now before we come over to this particular area i want to start from here now guys once you open your chart once you open your meta shader 5 application you are going to see market execution market execution means you are placing that trade instantly you are placing that trade right away that means market execution now if you click on this area now you will see different types of market order okay but this is when you want to just take that trade immediately and that is what i'm going to show you now always leave the market in market execution whenever somebody tell you to buy or sell but if you hear somebody tell you to use buy limit or use buy stop and all that all you need to do is to come here and click on the order the person gave to you or the trader gave to you right the trader that you're copying gave to you now guys and again this lot size this lot size area i want to show you guys this lot size is very important you guys need to understand lot size very well because if you don't understand lot size you are going to lose your money i want to quickly give you guys guide on what is lot size and particular lot size you should be using so guys as you can see here prefer lot size by account balance if you have an account of ten dollar to hundred dollar you should always be using 0 0.01 lot per trade 
Now you can go ahead and place like two trades or three trades at most. But each of your lot size should always be 0.01. Now if you have an account of $100 to $200, it should be 0.02. Okay, $200 to $300, 0.03. $300 to $400, 0.04 lot. $400 to $500, 0.05. $500 to $600, 0.06. $900 to $1,000, use 0.10 lot. Okay, now this should be the lot size you should be using for, for each of your trades. In this particular trade I want to take, I have $100 account. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to come here and make sure that this, this particular area is in 0.01. Most of the time, they, once you open your account, this area used to be in 0.05, but just change it to 0.01. If you have an account that is below $100, always use 0.01. Then, as you can see, this particular page, they wrote SL. Come here. This is our SL here. As you can see, our SL 147.487, right? Then we are going to come here. We're going to come to the, this SL, which is stop loss 147.487. Then we are going to go back. Then, as you can see, see our TP. Our TP is 148.928. So we're going to come here. And we're going to type 148.928. That is our TP. That is our take profit. Now, all you have to do is to just click on. Since I said, as you can see in this particular area, I said buy. Buy USDJPY. So, what you're going to do, you're just going to tap on buy. Now, as you can see, these are the three that I placed earlier. As you can see in this particular area, I just bought this particular one. If you want to see the instrument that you are going to trade, all you need to do is go to put. Okay. But if you want to see your chart, click here. Okay. You are going to see your chart and you are going to see what is going on on the chart. As you can see, this is where the stop loss is. This is where the stop loss is. Once market come down and hit this SL, your trade will just close. And once the market come here and hit this TP, which is take profit, your trade will just close automatically so that is the reason why you should always put your stop loss and tp there is also another way in which you can update your stop loss and take profit let's say for instance now you can click here right now okay and move it you can also like move it let's say let's say for instance now your, the market has already entered in deep profit you can decide to move your your stop loss to anywhere you want let's say you can put it somewhere here which is called break even so that whenever the market come back it will not take you out you will just be in break even right now guys let's say i want to modify my my chart now you can use this particular line automatically move it then come here click on this arrow click on this arrow here then click on modify as you can see done as you can see that our stop loss has already moved now guys pay attention to this particular area now now Look at this this is gbp jpy okay gbp jpy buy stop at this buy stop means once market once this as you can see this chart right now once this market you reach this particular area that the market should automatically buy okay that is the order that i want to give this particular trade that is what we call buy stop because buy stop you don't place the trade immediately okay so what you have to do is to go back to your meta trader five go to put now that trade is gbp jpy so we don't have gbp jpy so we are going to come here and type gbp jpy okay this is it gbp jpy then i'm going to click on plus then we've already added it to our chart then we'll go back click on it then click on new order now since i said buy stop all you have to do is to click on this market execution right here then come here that that you, you can see buy stop here click on buy stop so once you click on buy stop, you go back. As you can see, they say the price is, is at 199.811. You come here. one nine nine So that is where I'm anticipating the price to get to before the market will start moving. Then you go back, take the SL which is stop loss, which is 199.464. 199.464.
then you go back you can see the take profit 201.262 Okay, so once you're done, all you have to do is just click on place order. Now the order has automatically been placed on your MetaTrader 5 application. Now the last one, which is buy limit, okay, buy limit. Now all you have to do is to just come here again, which is that is GBP JPY trade. Click on GBP JPY, click on new order. Then since I said buy limit, all you have to do is to just come here. This is buy limit here okay once you come here buy limit input where the price is at which is which is which is 1.34623 okay this should be one point i made a mistake here okay so once you come you input where the price is at which is this area then you put your sl and take profit it's only market execution that you don't have to input where the price is at all you need to do is to put your stop loss and take profit okay so guys that is it and this is where you are going to see your trade. This is where you are going to see your running trade. If you click on trade, you see your running trade. As you can see, the market execution, these are the ones that I place instantly. And this one is an order, which is a buy stop. Once price gets to that area, it will trigger the trade, right? Now, this particular area is history. Okay, as you can see, this account, I've not placed any trade on it. Let me close one of these trades. Now, if you want to close the trade, just tap on it. Then... You see close position then you now come here and click on close profit close profits now if you come here and type history you're going to see the trade that you just closed okay you're going to see the profit you made for the day so guys if you actually want to be making money while you are still learning while you are still trying to figure out this trading and you are still trying to figure out your strategy that you'll be using you can actually be making money by joining my VIP Telegram group or join my mentorship class. While I'm teaching you, I'll also be sharing trading signals so you can be making money while you're learning. Use the link in the description of this particular video. Then send me a message, mentorship or signal. So guys, thank you for watching.